from my perspective, I mean, I saw your game in person. I was in SoFi Stadium a couple of weeks ago, about eight days ago now, to watch yeah. uh, your win against the Chargers. And, uh, you know, and I've been obviously, you know, and it's not fair to compare him to Brady. It's, it's simply not fair to compare anybody to Tom Brady. But I'm seeing Mac Jones run the offense with efficiency that I have not seen in a rookie quarterback in a very long time. What has it like been from your perspective to see – Mac Jones get uh, drafted. Uh, obviously, you had already been signed, and then to this present day, Matthew. Uh, I think I think uh, it's kind of the same lo- lines that uh, you're seeing. You know, uh, the efficiency that he has, and uh, just the uh, spirit that he he takes the coaching with. Uh, I don't think he I don't think he ever shows like bad body language or poor anything. And uh, and he's just a he's just a young guy willing to win, you know. He uh, he just come in here and he spends a lot of time in the building, you know. He spends a tremendous amount of time in the building, just trying trying to be the best he can be. And I think uh, from all his sacrifice uh, what, and what he do off the field is why he's so good on the field and why he's uh he's having that type of year or that type of efficiency is because he spends a lot of time in the building working on that. And so when, uh, you know, he, he's a rookie, he, he's going to have rookie mistakes and rookie throws and stuff like that. But, uh, he, he tries to minimize, minimize that as much as possible with everything he does, with everything he does practice, uh, you know, film study, Everything he does, he's he's trying to minimize all that, and so uh, you know we all we all respect him around this building. All right, you said a couple of things I want to just linger on a little bit. You said the spirit with which he takes coaching. What do you mean by that, Matthew? Uh, I don't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen him mad. You know, I, I honestly, uh, I'm not with him as much. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of got to get dig in some offensive guys for that. But uh, I haven't seen him mad yet. I've seen him upset that uh he wasn't playing as well but his anger hasn't been towards anybody besides himself and and that's what you like to see uh he kind of he kind of not like point blame at anybody or anything and even even uh if he do something bad he'd be like yeah that's my bad or something like that and we like hey man we we got your back that's what team is for and so he uh he a, he a really good uh, QB to have, QB one to have, and and you know we that's what we got and we, that's what we rocking with. So and then the second thing you said, Matthew Judon, is he's still just a rookie, or he's still a rookie? Uh, does that mean you're still testing his knowledge of the Alabama fight song, or making him, uh, nah, w- no? Man, he, uh, that's done. He, he he got nah he he gotta he gotta go through his uh, rookie dues and what's that? Uh, what's you that? know he got. He got to go through his rookie dues. You're only a rookie once, though, so you can't. You don't come back the second year and be a rookie. So he he got to go through his rookie dues. But that's that's offensive stuff, man. We I got I got the defensive guys. Okay, so you, are you saying that members of the offense are requiring him to still do menial tasks and dress certain ways and carry bags? Is that literally what's happening? I don't know what the, I don't know what the offensive guys are okay. requiring him to do. Okay, you know that's. That's that's up to him. You you gotta ask a a Hoyer or somebody. Okay. That's that's uh-huh. a real. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.